All right, folks. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this uh, amplifier, and it is the MXP50M. Uh, Chinese-made amplifier. Shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. You can pick this up for around 150 bucks off of uh, eBay. Uh, that's where I got this one. And um, it has a manual adjustment here for the bands that you're operating on. And then it has this uh, on-off power switch. When I got this amplifier, it did have a different power jack on here. Uh, so I replaced that with Anderson power poles to make this compatible with all of my equipment. The amplifier is supposed to be able to put out 45 watts. And then it has this wire here for your, um, your keying uh, circuit or your keying connector that goes to your radio. In our case, it's the IC705. And uh, it was just this bare wire, and I put this 3.5 millimeter jack on here, and you have to wire this up. So this is your, your positive, and this is your negative or shield. And uh, it was relatively simple to do. Now, there's a modification that you have to do in here, and uh, I did not um, come up with that modification. It was come up with uh, a YouTube channel. It's called the... Uh, I think it's the old tech guy and his name's Kevin Lauchlin and uh, he did a video a while ago and he made it seem complex doing this and the problem is is that this uh, this amp will generate an output voltage on the keying circuit that doesn't play well with the 705 now a lot of people debate that and say my 705 works great with it but we went ahead and we made that change I'm gonna roll a couple of pictures in uh, for that right now but actually, um, my buddy Mike K8MRD, he did a video and he made the modification seem very approachable. So I'll link both of their videos below and you can check them out. But uh, I got to tell you, if it wasn't for Mike's uh, job doing that modification, I'm not sure I would have done this. He did a fantastic job. And as a result, I'm not going to show how to do it. You can just check it out over there. Um, we've made the mod. We'll talk a little bit about it and we'll test it out and see how it works. And just for those who don't know, uh, here is Kevin and Mike. Uh, Kevin has the hat on and Mike doesn't. I'm not sure what Mike's doing in that picture. But uh, these are the two guys that I want to give credit for coming up with the design and then doing the, the modification in a way that I felt was something that was going to be easy and approachable. So thanks again, fellas. All right, so here is inside the, uh, the amplifier itself. And where I want to direct your attention is to the upper right-hand corner. And what you can see is the power and the keying cable come in. The keying cable is the black and white wires that plug into that, uh, that housing or adapter right next to the uh, orange or yellow relay. And what we need to do is we need to create a little bitty, itty bitty circuit board that has three components. And I'll roll in a picture of that and wire it in there and interrupt this circuit. Basically what this will do is it, uh, I believe will ground out that voltage and won't pass it through to the, uh, to the radio, which is a handy thing. Here you can see the amplifier post modification. And uh, what we have is that uh, inside that red shrink wrap is the circuit that I built and it taps into those wires, uh, like I had mentioned. For full details, again, check out uh, Kevin and Mike's videos. And then uh, here is the amp with uh, it powered up. So it shows that it works, uh, or at least that it powers up. And what you want is you want that power light to, to glow blue, and you don't want the, uh, the text light to come on until you actually key the amplifier. So let's take a quick look at the circuit. Okay, and then here you can see the circuit, and I just cut a little piece of PCB board and then uh, we have a transistor, we have a diode, and we have a resistor. It's very, very simple. And uh, it was relatively easy to do. Um, if I can do it, so can you. All right, folks, so what we have here is a little bit of a, of a blur issue. We have the 705 is connected up to the amplifier. From the amplifier, it goes into the uh, SWR and power meter. We're set for 10 meters here, and we're set for 10 meters here. Let's go ahead and turn that off. I'm gonna key up and we're gonna see what we get. Now I'm on FM just to get the carrier. We're getting a forward power of two watts. Let's go ahead and turn the amp on. And we are just under 30. Let's go ahead and adjust our power output to 50%. And let's see what we get. And there we are a little bit over 30. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, 20 meters. All right, here we are on 20 meters and I have to adjust the amplifier, which we just did. 
let's see, without the amp, we are getting four and a half, just under five. Let's go ahead and turn this on and key up. And then uh, we're around the 45, which is advertised for the amplifier. Well, that's good news. Let's take a look at uh, seven. And let's go to, I believe, I believe that's on seven, but let's just do a quick forward. There we are, four and a half, almost five. Turning this on, and we're just over 40 at 42. So that's not too bad. That's kind of that's kind of what we're expected. Um, I'm not going to go through all the different settings and show this. Um, like I said, this this amp has been covered uh, quite extensively in some other videos, but uh, we're happy with it and uh, and we're excited. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching, everybody.